Hello everybody, this is Greg29407, back with another episode of Astroneer. Well, today we're on our a new planet that I just started a few hours ago. Uh, we're on Silva, and uh, I've done the very basic thing. I've did my uh, tethers going out, 11 uh, tethers out in, in all four directions, uh, north, south, east, and west. And uh, so far I've been doing some exploring, mainly around the northern side and, and that, that whole uh, at part of the uh, map. Um, what I've done so far is I have built the, uh, the, the small... Um, uh, printer, the medium printer. Uh, I just most recently got the large printer. I uh, have, of course, the uh, research chamber. I built that first. Then I went ahead and go went with the smelter and with my soil uh, centrifuge. I also uh, have some power sources back here. Uh, I went ahead and I, I found some, I did some exploration and found some extra batteries laying around in debris. Uh, this thing right here, this medium platform V, I found out in the woods. Uh, it was covered in, in debris, but it's actually in, in working corners. That's good. Um, all these little items on here, my medium solar panels and my uh, small wind turbines, I found uh, just uh, exploring the map, finding them sitting on debris. I've got a couple more over there, too. Uh, so that, that was all free, um, which is very, very nice. Um, as you can see, I've been uh, doing some exploration underneath uh, underground. Uh, I've got uh, found a decent amount of zinc. It's a spherolite. Uh, I found a whole bunch of copper in the mountains uh, north of my uh, uh, of my final tether. I went way up into the mountains up there and found a, just a whole pile of it. I got a lot of aluminum over here. I've got my quartz and my, my ceramic. Lots of ceramic I've been mining right there. Uh, also got some exo chips that I uh, got. A lot of this came from missions that I was doing as well. You know, so if you uh, blow, if you create dynamite and blow up uh, a crate, then, then you're going to get three exo chips plus whatever exo chips you find in the crate itself. That's why I've got uh, six exo chips right now. So I've been doing a lot of missions. Uh, so if you want to take a look at this, I've done all these missions going down this way. Lots of good stuff. I got one here I can uh, turn in, in fact. So uh, we'll turn that in in a couple minutes. Uh, the main thing I've been doing, though, is researching these research bites. As you can see, uh, trying to put another one on the, the grill here. Uh, I have been going out and searching for these things. I found a lot of them in the trees in those woods way back there. Uh, there's a bunch of woods to the north of here. That, there's a lot of woods and mountains over that direction. Uh, a little bit over in that direction. I haven't done anything uh, south of here yet. And I've just been bringing them back. Um, there was a mission I had that said to create a tractor. So I did that. And when you create a tractor, it gave me the, uh, the um, trailer as for free. So that's nice. I've been driving, being able to drive around and get, you know, get a little farther away and find more of these things. Um, it takes a long time to, to get your research numbers up. Um, I'm, at, I'm only at 877 bytes right now. And the reason for that is I was going for a, uh, a long time because what I wanted to do was get a couple of things I had in mind. They're right down here. I wanted to get the medium solar panel, which was, I think, 2,000 research bytes, and the medium wind turbine, which is 2,500 bytes, uh, for a very special reason. Uh, one of my missions that I had was to go ahead and create the small space shuttle. That's right over here. And as soon as you do that one, it's when you when you create the space shuttle, then uh, you're, they're going to give you the solid fuel thruster, so I can actually take off and and leave the planet. And now I have a mission that says leave the planet, and go someplace else, and, and do some exploration, um, which is you know part of the point of the game. There's uh, there's seven planets total, so we we've seen this one part way, and there's, there's a sixth. Um, yeah, so here we go. Uh, this is the mission I just completed last night. Print a small shuttle. Print and install the oxygenator in the shuttle. Print and attach a solid fuel thruster. By doing that, I got uh, the QT RTG, which I love. Um, I get a fuel shelter and a uh, solid fuel thruster. So I'm going to get those right now in a minute. Let's click on this. Nice. All right, this is the uh, this is the QT RTG that I talked about in my other video. Uh, this creates one unit of, of energy per second. It's a fantastic uh, thing. You can put it on your backpack. You can do whatever you want to with it. In fact, I am going to... Put that there. So I'm never going to run out of power. I'll do something else with that later. So 
Okay, so the point of this video, though, is we have this space shuttle, and we're going to go to our first new planet. It's going to be very exciting. But if you noticed on the space shuttle, uh, there's room for me to climb on board, and this says I have enough for fuel for four launches. And that sounds great, but here's how it works. Uh, leaving this planet is one launch. Landing on a new planet is the second launch. Leaving that planet is the third launch, and landing back on this planet is the fourth launch. So this, the four launches are good for a one-way trip, one one-way trip. So you don't get four one-way trips, you get one one-way trip. So we can visit a planet, but you notice there's no storage on this thing. There's nowhere to put any storage. Now, when you get the medium-sized shuttle, um, you, there is some, some storage, and the large shuttle has massive amounts of storage. You can carry you know, everything in the game pretty much on, the, on the, that thing. Uh, but there's no storage on here. So whatever we take to our new planet, I think we're going to visit Kalidor. Uh, whatever I take, the only thing I can take with me is what's going to fit in my backpack. Okay? So let's take a look at what's on my backpack. Um, we have eight slots back here. We've got two up here. On my gun, I've got three slots, and then we got one in the holster here, um, which I have uh, set up with some compounds so I can create tethers when I want to. I'm going to leave this here. I'm going to create my tethers when I land. So I always keep my soil containers on these two. I've got either my small battery now, my QT RTG, in this spot. I've got my oxygen tank in this spot. And on my gun, I've got my boost mod and my drill mod. So that leaves me with these six plus one, seven slots, plus one in a holster here. So I can only carry seven things with me that I can use to set up my base. And we can do that. We can create a whole new successful base on another planet using just seven things I can put in this backpack. And let me show you what we're gonna do. How are we gonna do these seven? First thing we're gonna do, number one, we're gonna take a beacon. Okay, now you're gonna get a couple of free beacons from uh, some of your um, missions. So I got two of them sitting here, so you can take one. This is incredibly important because what's gonna happen is when we land on the new planet, we're not gonna have a landing pad and we're not gonna have a, a shelter because the landing pad, first of all, we haven't researched it yet. And second of all, it's too big. It doesn't fit on your backpack. Same thing with the shelter. So you're not gonna have either one of those two things. Both a landing pad and a shelter can be seen from space. They put out these little uh, these little things overhead that you can see from space. So when you leave the planet, you want to come back. You just you know orbit the planet until you see your your base come up. So, oh, there's where I need to go, and you click on that and you go back to your base. If you don't have those two things, and we won't, you need something that's going to identify from space where your base is. That's what the beacon's for. Uh, you do not want to, to to start a new base without having a beacon there or at least some other way of seeing it from space. So very important, that's number one. Number two, we want to take uh, two batteries, two small batteries. One, let's go ahead, take that. The reason for that is the first thing when we get to a new planet, we're gonna have a real problem with power. Uh, we're gonna try and create some power, but it's gonna be, we're gonna be really short on power early on. Later on, we'll have more stuff. We can do a lot of different things with it. But to start off with, we're going to be pretty short on power. So we want a couple of batteries that can store whatever power we're not using. And, uh, you know, and when the wind stops blowing and the sun stops shining, uh, we have these two little batteries with a little bit extra power, a little bit of juice to kind of get us through the night. Um, it helps. It's, it's, it helps. Okay, so that's uh, those. Now, what we're also going to need to do is a source of power. And we could take, you know, the small wind turbine, and we could take a small solar thing but those are pretty slim in terms of putting out power uh, the medium size are much better now we can't take these because they don't fit on the backpack but we can do is we can make new ones as soon as we get there so what we're going to do is on our backpack we are going to take uh, for this for a medium sized solar panel we're going to need a glass and we're going to need one copper Okay. And then for a medium uh, wind turbine, we're going to need one ceramic, and we're going to need one aluminum. And that's all of our slots. All right. So let's go back to, let's go to our ship, 
and let's uh, blast off for our brand new planet. We've got our, uh, high, our, our solid fuel thruster on there. We're going to enter. Let's take off. I got to be honest, when I first started playing this game, leaving the planet and going someplace new really made me nervous. Uh, I said, what if I can't get back? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. It was very scary to leave. I said, what if I ruin the whole game? There's Kalidor right there. Now, this is the solo. We could go there, too, but I want to go to Kalidor. It doesn't matter which planet you choose. It still uses exactly the same amount of, uh, of, of launches. So going to a nearby planet doesn't help you out at all. Notice we now have two launches. All right, here we go. This is our new planet, Kalidor. And these bubbles are where we can land. These are uh, available for us. Um, there's a big purple. So generally, I want to get someplace close to big purple. Here's one big purple. Let's see what else we got. Um, we don't lose anything by just kind of floating around for a little bit, seeing what, what's available. Let's see here. Here is another big purple, and there's a, a, another uh, possibility. I'm going to increase our speed. Okay, there's four. There's another big purple. Let's go back to the first one we saw. It seemed like probably the best one. It was close to big purple, and it was uh, probably the closest we saw. It looks sounds about right. Is that it? I don't think that was it. No. Here we go. Let's go right there. All right. We're on a brand new planet. Now, the thing about Kalidor is there are a lot of these wide open, massive pits. We have got a, some good ones here, it looks like. Uh, boy, oh boy, this is very, very big. All right. So what I'm going to do eventually, um, my thought is on this particular playthrough, I'm going to make Kalidor my main base. I'm going to make this my main place. Uh, it won't be uh, Silva. Um, I wish they had a thing in the game where you could pick whatever planet you want to start off on or even choose like a random planet to, to start off on, but they don't, they don't have that. So I'm going to do it myself. Uh, I rolled a dice beforehand, and Kalidor came up as, as the winner. So this is going to be my main, my main base eventually. But right now, I just need to do a very, very uh, small, simple base. I can always move stuff around later if I want to. Let's kind of look around at what we have, first of all. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This is going to be great. Look at this. This is awesome. All right, I'm going to, uh, to look around a little bit. I will be right back. Okay, I've been looking around uh, the map. This is a great location. It looks like there's all sorts of really cool things to see. Uh, so we're going to put up our, our temporary starting base uh, right here. Um, now, if you if you land your small shuttle and it goes in like a, like in a hole or a pit or some weirdo place, you can uh, pick up your ship and, and move it around somehow. Not quite sure how that happens, but uh, you can do that. A lot of times with the solo, it puts you right in like some 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 really tight pit, so I have to jump out of the thing and, and pick up the ship and, and move it around. Uh, but what we're going to do over here is we're going to just go ahead and put this over here. Uh, first thing we're going to do is let's clear off some room. Let's put our our beacon down so right there. That's now going to be viewable from space, so that's great. All right. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make some tethers. All right. So I think a good location to do with our, our temporary spot is going to be right up here. It's kind of a flat area. Should be good for us. So what I want to do is I want to go back here and I want to go ahead and put my batteries right over in this area. Let's uh, spin them around a little bit. Okay. And then the other one. Good. It's just to kind of get some, some room. All right. Now, what I'm going to want to do is I want to go ahead and create the uh, small uh, printer. Oh, small printer. So what I'm going to need is some compound. 
So I am going to run over there to the nearest compound, which is... The kids are taking it right here, it looks like. The big pile over there. Let's, uh, let's get started right here. Yeah, we want to be very careful with our space on our backpack right now, so... Let's take what we need. Facing us. Go. Okay. So, first thing we're going to do, we're going to create our medium solar panel and our medium um, uh, wind turbine. We've already got the parts for those two things. But we're also going to have to uh, create some kind of stand to put them on, too. Okay. Wind turbine. So we're eating up our battery pack, so we got to be careful on that. But we can also either attach our QTRTG to the back here to uh, boost up some power, or if we just had another battery here, we could switch out batteries. So if you don't have, if you just have a regular battery on the back here, what you can do is you can, well, even if you don't, I can take this battery, let's see. Take it there. And it will slowly recreate. All right, so what I next want to do create some stands to put those things on. Medium platform A is going to be our, our best bet. So we need two resin. One resin for one and one resin for the other. So I'm going to do that. I will be back in just a minute when I've made those two stands. Okay, that took me about 10 minutes and I've got my base complete. The starting base at least. Uh, what I've got here is I have my two batteries that you saw me put down. I created three of these little uh, medium platform A's. One for my wind turbine, one for my solar panel, and then one for my medium printer. I went ahead and made a medium printer as well. So between these things, I can start my base from, from going on from here. All I can all I want to do then is I can go ahead and create uh, some of those uh, medium platform Bs and put in my research chamber and my smelter and my soil, and I'm ready to go. Um, what I'm probably going to do, though, is I'm going to probably uh, scout around this a little bit and find out where all my, my resources are. Um, I put some uh, some tethers this way to get to that compound factory. When I was coming back, I noticed when I came this way, I looked down here and saw looked like some uh, laterite, some aluminum right down that tunnel. So that's going to be my first tunnel. To, yeah, there's some uh, laterite down there. So it'll be my first tunnel to check on. So that is how to, uh, those are the seven items you need to take to start a brand new base on a new planet. It's as easy as that. Until next time, this is Greg29407 saying au revoir, and we will see you next time.